What is going on YouTube? It is Cons of Vlogs, you guys. Today we're back with another video. Um, so if you guys missed my last video, go check it out, link in description. I'm starting a series here on our LSA Chevy SS and going over more in depth of what happened, why we chose the parts that we did and how it got to where it is today. So this car makes just under 700 horsepower at the wheels. But yeah, part one, I basically went over why we started with this car, what's good about this car, why you should start with this car. Um, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the first round of mods that we did and talk talking a little bit about what you could do to get power on this car. But before we get started, you guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Connor. This is Con's Vlogs, obviously. We do a lot of car stuff here. I drive a 2015 Camaro SS, and my dad drives a 2016 Chevrolet SS. That's what we're in today, and that's what we're gonna be talking about here today. Um, it has an LSA supercharger and an LME forged block. Um, pretty much we talk about those cars a lot, but I do do other stuff. I have gone seen supercars before and vlogged it. I have raced cars before. Um, I do a lot of stuff with cars, you guys. So if that sounds like something that you're into, I am the biggest car enthusiast that I know. If that sounds like something you would want to come along with and check out some of my adventures and cool stuff we do with the cars, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and tap that bell icon to always get notified whenever there's a new video. But without further ado guys let's get in this is the journey of the lsa chevy ss part two So starting off, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Starting off, we wanted this Roto Fab. It's a four inch intake. This coupler right here was custom fab by JDP Motorsports, but this is just a Roto Fab cold air intake uh, for a fifth gen. It's covered, I'm not sure why. I wish it was open so we could hear that supercharger scream a bit more, but we've tried taking it off, it is what it is. And then we just went ahead and went with the ZL1, the fifth gen ZL1 LSA blower with that lid on it. That is actually a factory GM part right there. So yeah, so that was all we did on the first round of mods. Those were the big things that we did. We did the LSA supercharger from a ZL1. Uh, we did a cam, and then we did um, the intake, the headers, and the X-pipe, leaving the stock mufflers on as we have it right now. Um, so now we're gonna go into a little bit more detail on how we did that and some of the products that we used. This was all put on by JDP Motorsports, by the way. Um, they're a shop out of Sandy, Utah. There's a little bit of information on there, the address where they're at. So it's JDP Motorsports. They're the ones who did the build on this. Um, so you can see here all of the stuff that we did. You can go ahead and pause the video right there. It has all of the cam specs on it right there. Now, along with the supercharger, we did need to upgrade some of the fueling. So what we ended up doing, um, and I have it exactly here. I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up. So we did Injector Dynamics 2009 to 2015. They're ID1050X injectors on this car, just to give a little bit more fueling to support that boost. And as you guys can see here, this is the part for pretty much all of the supercharger. Um, we pretty much took everything off of a ZL1 LSA, as I mentioned before. A couple parts from the CTSV there, just the reservoir and the reservoir cap. But pretty much all of the supercharger parts came off of a 5th gen ZL1. JDP also had to do, you know, some custom fabrication in order to get the intercooler to fit and the intercooler piping and all that for the supercharger. Um, and then that custom um, coupler for the Rotofab cold air intake that I mentioned. Um, the cold air intake was actually made by Rotofab for a Chevy SS. Um, like I said, it's a four inch intake. We didn't do the throttle body or anything this time around. We didn't really need to. The throttle body on these things is great. We didn't really want to port it or anything. So obviously we did not. Um, but that is pretty much all we did the first time around, you guys. And it was a beast of a car. If you guys want to check out when we went and picked it up with that setup, it was a few years ago. Cut me some slack on the video, okay? But it's, I'll link it down below. Um, that video actually was the best video I ever uploaded on my channel. It got just under 65,000 views. So thank you guys for that. Go ahead and go check it out right now if you haven't already, you guys. That goes over everything there as well, as well as how it drove, what I thought of it back then. But yeah, so that was the first steps. Now, as I mentioned in the video before, you guys don't have to do exactly these steps. You can do whatever you want with the LS. That's the 
beauty of it. Like my Camaro, for example, just headers in an intake. And I love that car. You don't have to go all the way out and buy a forged engine and boost your LS and all that jazz. You don't got to do that, but you can. And it's awesome. It's very awesome. We're going to get into that too, because this build just keeps getting better and better and better. And then we hit a hiccup and then it just got better after that. So we're going to get into that next time. You guys leave your questions, comments, or concerns down below. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Um, Corey, I'm very sorry for making you cut through all of this video because I made a lot of mistakes, you guys. So go ahead and follow Corey down in the description. I'm going to link his Instagram. He's making sick edits of cars. He's the man working the magic behind all these videos. I'm just here talking to you guys, telling you a little bit about what I think I I know about the car but yeah guys again thank you so much for all the support on the channel more videos coming more content coming on this car we're going to continue the series as we get into part three and i'll talk to you guys on my next video